Hi, in this video, we will show you some more features of Abyss Odyssey. In the game's story, the underground world and the monsters you find in it, they are all part of a warlock's nightmare. But this warlock is so powerful that his nightmare is becoming real and monsters are appearing on the surface world. The story is set in Santiago, Chile, around the year 1900. Right now I'm at Cerro Santa Lucia because it is one of the locations we have reconstructed and used in the game. In addition to the diversity of playing as the enemies, the three lead characters feature a unique special attack system that makes the character progression much more interesting. Each of our three leads are unlocked with one base special attack. As you progress through the game, you will be awarded with new special attacks, which are granted in random order. Each player can map their favorite attacks to their preferred input setting. On top of this, each special attack can be buffed with acquired special points in three different categories. This means that two different players can have the same main character preference, but still have completely different playstyles, since the special attacks and their configuration can be completely different. One of the unique features is the existence of the community-oriented objective of defeating the Warlock and revealing his next phase. Final Boss has several masks, and by defeating him, players will collectively be cooperating to move on to the next phase of the Warlock. When enough people have defeated him, new enemies and objects will appear in the Abyss. With this feature, we can change the Abyss and add new elements over time. To keep track of the Final Boss status, the official Abyss Odyssey Facebook and Twitter accounts will receive updates when the community reaches specific checkpoints or eventually destroys his mask.